Good morning! Today I am so excited to share a new pattern that is being released. I have absolutely loved working on this piece, not only because the yarn itself was absolutely stunning, but also because it was quite a meditative knit, as there's a lot of garter stitch, a little bit of lace, um, some Estonian braids, which are probably one of my favorite stitch to make and to look at. I just love it so much. And a little pico bind off, and that's it, pretty much. So, yeah, the piece knit up like so quickly. I probably worked on it for, I don't know, like three days. It went by really really quickly and I kind of couldn't stop working on it. Um, I was really eager to reach the next lace portion and then you know you transition to garter stitch and you just forget about everything <laughs> and then you want to knit a little bit more and then you reach the second or third lace portion and then you're already at the pickle bind off so I should probably have made a fingering, ver a fingering weight version actually. But yeah, here it is. This is the Honey Plum Shawl. And it is knit out of Gregoria Fibers Polworth DK Superwash. And this has been naturally dyed by Anna. And it is absolutely stunning. I don't know if that is a variegated skin or if it's speckled I don't really know um, how she will she would call um, her, I mean this kind of dyeing but it is absolutely stunning there's loads of pink as you can see uh, some magenta some yeah darker lighter pinks some what else beautiful um, honey mustard <laughs> and some blue speckles it is so stunning I ordered the skins um, a few months ago and I just I don't know like the yarn was so precious that I didn't really want to knit anything with it and then you know the more I looked at the yarn that was in, this, in my stash the more I was eager to knit and one morning I was like enough is enough just start knitting with it and yeah I, I just love 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 her yarn look at these little blue speckles I don't know if you can see we're gonna try to show you a, a close-up something else that I, that I have loved about working with her yarns is that because there's so much going on with the color with the color I'm gonna try to move the candle a bit <laughs> just to prevent any kind of accident because I am definitely not clumsy at all so yeah what I absolutely love about her dyeing work is that there is no stitch that is similar to the next they all look different especially the little Pico bind off. They all look different color wise. They all look different and that was just a lot of fun. I just wanted to get to the next to see which color it would be and yeah I just can't stop looking at it and when I was knitting I was kind of obsessed. I don't usually tend to look at my knitting especially if it's garden stitch because I don't really need to look at the knitting but in this case that's the only thing that I really wanted to do just look at the fabric growing with her color. So anyway Honey Plum is a crescent shaped shawl so um, you cast on at the top and you work your way through the bottom and as I said before loads of garter stitch garter stitch there's three garter stitch sections a little bit of Shetland lace this is um, the lace stitch that I have used for my selkie shawl and I think it's called all shale lace 
I think. And then I have incorporated a little Estonian braid in the middle. And because the lace pattern is curling quite a bit, it makes the braid curl as well. And that is so pretty. This is probably my favorite feature in, in the shawl. I just love this. And I don't think that that will be the last time that I will be using lateral, lateral braids or Estonian braids because they're just too much fun. <laughs> Way too much fun. And yeah, basically you repeat the same lace portion uh, three times and you finish off with a pico by enough. I have used three skins of DK Polworth, so it's about 700 yards. I think I will write everything down just to double check. And I will provide a link below for you to check out the Ravelry page and all the information regarding the pattern. Um, but yeah, um, it's gonna be a wonderful piece to wear very soon because we are already in August and I can start seeing change in the weather already. I've seen some leaves on the floor. It has been quite an interesting summer so far so it kind of feels chilly and honestly I have been wearing sweaters already so shawls obviously. <laughs> so yeah I can, I can wear it right now, no problems. I have very cold hands. So the pattern is now out on Ravelry and I will link to the pattern below and you will be able to use the little coupon code that I would add as well. So just make sure that you copy paste it and you can insert it when you click on the buy button and on the bottom right corner you can add a coupon code and you just paste it and that's it. And Anna is also going to have some wonderful kits um, for the shawl. Uh, she's going to have two different bases the same one that I have used which is her Polworth Superwash and she's also going to have a beautiful two-ply merino that is absolutely stunning and she dyed three, six different colorways um, two of which are the same one that I have used so they are on two, all the colorways are available on two different bases on the Polworth and on BFL. So depending on what you like best, if your, I don't know if your skin is very sensitive, you might prefer to get the Merino. Um, the Polworth is a little bit more rustic, but the colors are more vibrant. Um, and yeah, I think it's just up to you. And there's two other colorways, I don't have the names in mind but I will link to her shop and she will have a shop update today at 6 p.m. Spanish time so if you want to get some of her yarn just make sure to get there in time so yeah that is it for today um, let me know if you're planning to make the show um, you can leave a comment below or you can I don't know tag me on Instagram or you can join the Ravelry group, you can search for the Mandarin's group in the Ravelry tab and you will be able to find um, the group there. So yeah, that is it for today. I wish you a wonderful end of your week, even though it's Tuesday. I wish you a beautiful end of your week. Um, I will be flying off to the UK on Friday to attend a little festival, creative festival, where I will be teaching a workshop on lace knitting. So yeah, I wish you a beautiful week and talk to you soon.